I'm back. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to this, the story of Mad Max. Let's see what silliness. I've, I've already met a silly character, but he's, he's quite cool. He's my... He seems to be my... My ne my my only trusted allies in this game. Let's see what fascinating things he has to say. There you go, characters. That's the guy, Chum Bucket. Oh, I can make you become steel real, my angel. I can build your corpus and ignite your sacred fuel. Awesome. True, uh, but only the warrior saint can drive you. Yeah, that is why you sent him my way. <laughs> Chumbucket is a bizarre wasteland mechanic who resides in the great white region. He crosses paths with Max when he spies him in his long lookers. <laughs> Long lookers, binoculars, nice. While scavenging for engine parts, he sees the warrior Max fight Scabrus. Scrotus. Sca Scabrus Scrotus. Ew. And his war boys. And he, and he, and he decides that Max has been sent to him for a purpose. Chum Bucket's background is unclear. He stems from Gastown originally, but was cast out despite his extraordinary, extraordinary skills as a blackfinger. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> His extraordinary skills as a black finger mechanic. He has lived alone in the wasteland for a long time, sometimes trading with characters like Jeet and Good <laughs> Gut Gutgash Good Gutgash Guzman Gutgash. His garage is located inside an old gutted ship where he began building a vehicle. Chum, Buckets, uh, Chum Bucket believes himself to be a prophet of his own bizarre automotive mechanic based religion. Awesome! He's the creator of his own religion. He claims to worship a deity call he calls the Angel Combustion as well as other lesser deities with similar themes. He believes that he has been chosen to create this ultimate vehicle, the Magnum Opus, with the help of Max, whom he calls his warrior, whom he calls his warrior saint, and who he believes was sent to him by the angel Combustion. Awesome. Combu uh, com Chum Bucket's fervent religious goals and Max's need to build a new car coincide and together they decide to build the Magnum Opus. Awesome. My car was taken and destroyed. I must build me a new one. Better and faster than the black on black. My car was taken and destroyed. I must build me a new one. Better and faster than the black on black. Excuse me. <laughs> 
Max coveted survival vehicle. A heavily altered interceptor. Pursuit special. It was equipped with a supercharged V8 engine modified for use in the unforgiving wasteland and fitted with two large tanks for extra fuel. Also known as the Black on Black. It contained all Max needed to cross the Plains of Silence. Cool. When Max reached the Outer Graves, the Black on Black was taken by Scrotus's war boys and was gutted for parts. Max, with the help of Chumbucket, had to begin building a new survival machine, more powerful and sturdy than even the original Black on Black. Awesome. The Magnum Opus. Uh, my life's work, work. Uh, she is the angel combustion, becoming flesh or steel, as it is. Since the angel combustion sent me the warrior saint, uh, I am sure of my destiny. Uh, Fastest, meanest, most outstanding one-man survival vehicle ever built in this wasteland. The Magnum Opus. My life's, my life's work. She is the angel combustion, becoming flesh or steel, as it is. Since the angel combustion sent me, the warrior saint, I am sure of my destiny. I need peace. To find peace, I must reach the Plains of Silence. To reach them, I need a machine as good as the Black on Black. Or better. I need peace. I find peace. To, I find peace. To find peace, I must reach the Plains of Silence. In meditation. To reach... To reach them, I need a machine as good as the black on black or better. Ma Max, a loner, on the run from himself and his past. Stop running, just cut the cords and let go. Let it go. Let it go, let it go. Somewhere in the death throes of human civilization, he lost his family to senseless violence ever since he has been moving, living day to day, just surviving while a cacophony of distorted memories, sounds and visions haunt him. Max would have stopped long ago, stopped fighting stopped breathing but his body will not al allow him to rest wow he has a mission all right stopped breathing oops his survival training is part of muscle memory now his confused mind has constructed a mythical place which he refers to as the plain of silence where he is convinced he will find peace. An extinguishing of the anguish and the silencing of the voices of past ghosts. Ooh, ah. In the picture, killer boots, man. They look sturdy. Max clings to his old car, the Interceptor, all black on black. It is an extension of him, essential to survive the wasteland. When the Interceptor is taken, everything changes. But as always, Max keeps moving forward. <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> I added that unconsciously. But as always, Max keeps moving and finds a way to survive all the riches of these lands are mine all of gastown is mine calm down 
Scrotus. <laughs> Scrotus. Stop living in the lack mentality. Come back to abundance. Get out of your old ways of thinking. Open your mind. Scrabulous Scrotus, son of E. Morton Joe, brother to Rictus Erectus. Oh my god. <laughs> is a feared ruthless warlord and anointed protector of Gastown. Oh. Ooh. Anointed by what? By peace by peace stained cloths. Ew. <laughs> From early youth, Scrotus was a matchless warrior. His speed, muscle, and fearlessness made him the perfect killing machine. In training, he killed his first combatant at the age of seven. Oh, sounds like Sparta. His, he continued his conquests, slaying enemies, sparring partners and instructors alike. That's so that's that's a cool story, but why be an asshole? Yeah, why be an asshole? It sounds also like Miyamoto Musashi, the legendary samurai, and Bruce Lee. This Scrotus guy doesn't seem quite as enlightened. <laughs> he continued his conquests, slaying enemies, sparring partners and instructors alike. Why slay them? Why slay instructors? Stop. This, this guy's tyranny has come to an end. As all tyrants do. In his early teens he honed his skills on death runs from Gastown to Bullet Farm and back again. Scrotus thrives in the wasteland, relishing the constant war squashing those who have carved out existences of their own and stripping their resources away sounds like some tyrants of the past like Genghis Khan and, or some others that I uh, cannot recall right now. Shunning the superficial world of the Citadel Court. Ah, there you go. That part resonates. <laughs> yes, it uh, this Shunning the superficial world of the Citadel Court. He grew his war boy army into a force unmatched in the wasteland. Superficial world of Citadel Court. What a superficial world. During the Wasteland Wars, Scrotus defeated Dr. Dementus with Gastown back under the rule of Immortan Joe. Scrotus was appointed. 
Immorten. Immorten. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Scrotus was appointed the protector of Gastown and put in charge of all operations and armies there. Scrotus's, <laughs> Scrotus's brutal methods and cruelty are legendary. What's why? Uh, why make a legend of that? As his penchant for morbid theatrics. Okay, theatrics. Oh, oh. Oh, the pain of it all. Oh, the pain of the, his theatrics. Such is adorning his belt with severed human heads and displaying a threatening razor-sharp phallic codpiece. Ah, that's what the Scrotus is about. <laughs> his army of war boys are fiercely loyal and will follow his every whim, no matter how extreme. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. No matter, oh yeah, all around Gastown, Oh ah, yeah, that, that cod piece seems, uh, is an ancient thing also that was worn for, for, for some reason that I don't know either. I've read about it somewhere. Or I can't recall right now. Maybe... <laughs> some textbook. All around Gastown, Scrotus's reign of terror is on full display through his turf-marking scarecrows, as well as his many uh, encampments that support Gastown and feed his army with fresh warriors. Ah, what a story. Oh, I can make you become steel real, my angel. I can build your corpus and ignite your sacred fuel. True, uh, but only the warrior saint can drive you. Yeah, that is why you send him my way. Oh, I can make you become steel real, my angel. I can build your corpus and ignite your sacred fuel. True, but only the warrior saint can drive you. That is why you sent him my way. So I will succeed. Thank you for listening to my my own theatrics. <laughs> I'll pause for now.